Hey YouTube, Bugman here. I'm going to do a review on the Harbor Freight two-ton engine lift. Uh, we get to that, gotta check my uh, burgers and the smoker real quick. Make you a little jealous. They are getting really close. Oh yeah. So, we're gonna make this a little bit quicker here. All right, so I went needed an engine lift because I'm going to be pulling the heads off my 6.0 power stroke to replace them. Can't really lift those 80-pound heads um, very easily, so best thing to do is use an engine lift. I've always needed one. Uh, they're kind of handy. I can lift the generator in the back of the truck and some ever other heavy things that need to get done. And found the coupon for 179 which is the same price regularly for the one ton and I think if you're gonna buy an engine lift don't buy a one ton uh, I also not bad reviews but I've heard it's not very uh, sturdy so you might as well beef up to the two ton but anyway we'll uh, we'll check this thing out I got it all put together and I will have to say the welds are kind of crappy uh, I got some areas here I don't See if I can find them. I mean, those aren't don't look too bad down here. So those are not that pretty of welds. Are they good welds? I think so. That's melted in the metal pretty good. I would probably say it's a solid weld. Uh, it's just not pretty whatsoever. Um, some sharp right there. You can tell it's a really sharp edge. Um, paint was decent. Could probably spray it with Rust-Oleum and get an actual better coating. It looks pretty, but I guarantee that chips off. I haven't really banged on it and tried. Um, you do have to completely assemble these. They are in a million pieces. Uh, I've lifted my generator with it. It goes up just fine. It's really, really slow. Wish the eight ton Ram was a double pump so it would move a little bit faster. Uh, and this one, you know, it does, obviously you can see it folds up so doesn't take much room in your garage you can throw that in a corner somewhere um, now I do have some issues these legs and you see my little um, ghetto engineered ordeal here I'm gonna have to get some bungee cords hold on these are pretty tight okay so you're gonna move this around it's got you know four wheels on the bottom oh and you just look see they just plop forward which when that weight is forward it can tip pretty easily so need to bungee cord them back that's something they should be considering for safety i mean some kid's going to get smashed these this is heavy this is super heavy uh looking at the metal you can see how thick it is i mean it's it's good solid eighth inch uh tubular steel so it is definitely built for the job, uh, but so here, I um, already found one thing. So when these went back and that's what started, uh, let's see if it still does it. I've been kind of prying on it. There you go. See, this one doesn't even stand up. That is as far back as it goes. That's not the zip tie holding it back. That's the problem. Those aren't even even. Someone's got a pin off down there. Operation's quite simple. Pop this real quick. Now my zip tie may actually get in the way. Nope, nope. One second. Oh, you have to lift actual stand that's hard to do in this position okay, it, gets, it does go in um, but all in all I um, just wanted to give uh, 
this is a cheap alternative to paying for a very, very expensive engine lift. Uh, really good construction, just uh, as far as the idea, ideal, the engineering, um, just welds and fit are a little off. It takes you a little bit to get it together. Um, definitely get that coupon for 179 so you could save 40 bucks at least. Um, I can't remember, it was like 239 I think, regular price, or it might have been more than that. Uh, one recommendation I do have, I don't know if I can show you it. So I, it's on the other side, on these wheels. There you go, I tack welded that. So the middle wheels are uh, swivel casters, they're not straight. Try moving that thing around. It's one thing when it's all the way extended out and then you're just resting on those wheels. <clears throat> when you're trying to move this thing around with that short of a wheelbase with all four casters, it's all over the place. I tack welded the front two. Um, that gave me the opportunity to just have the back wheels and they're steel so on concrete they slide anyway but now I actually have control so that's something if you have a welder or a friend that can weld it's an idea but anyway um, I'd probably get four and a half stars for something like this uh, I would give the full five stars if they actually had decent welds on it and didn't have some sharp spots uh, with the legs not wanting to stay where they're supposed to be at you know that's where I'm gonna take a, at least a half a star off I wouldn't go all out as a four star, but I'm a nice guy. But anyway, uh, that's just my two cents. Take a look at them. I think they're pretty good product there at Harbor Freight. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.